Hello ladies and gents, I am Erdiffin and welcome back to Stardew Valley on Arbalane Farm with Farmer Cyrus. Currently, Wednesday the 17th of Spring. Let's see what's going on, weather report. So it's going to rain all day tomorrow, brilliant. It's going to be useful, fortune teller, anything use, good humour, extra luck, nice. So, we've got anything useful, spring crop bundle, oh no, what well, it hadn't been. It's the parcel I need to do. I knew there was one. Wild crops. That's the one which I really need. Anything else? I can't really do anything. So really bean. I'll keep hold of it. Uh, veggie. Good gift for people. It's not the best seller in the world. But what I do need to do, I need to do the farming stuff. In fact, I could probably upgrade my watering can, though the pickaxe would be more useful at this point. So, let, I will actually try and do that. So I can't afford it. Oh well. To watering! Well, with the watering done, it's time to go get some more salmon berries, and more general foraging, and ideally, I need to go to Gunter and hand in the ancient seed, get that planted, because that will be really, really good, because I'll be able to get a couple of harvests, well, quite a few harvests of that throughout this year. I'm finding it in spring, first year of spring, that's the earliest I've ever found it. Normally I have to wait until autumn, where I'm mass producing dozens and dozens of crops, and find it via the seed maker. Finding it purely by random, is great. Well, it's Pam's birthday tomorrow. I'll need to give her a gift. I do have parsnips, but might not have to, might have to be something else. Don't play catch. Someone to play catch with. Um, by my hair, dude. Though, of course, I wouldn't be able to play it because I am farming. Ah, so these do regrow. So long as you don't destroy all of them, they do regrow. That is a useful little thing. Um, I'm not too sure why they even existed, but no, I know you can get some regrowth. So I am now at the community center, time to hand in some more stuff. Spring crops, parsnip please. Bundle is completed, excellent. That will give me a reward. And reward is some speed grow. Speed grow, I don't like using speed grow. But I'll use it on my um, ancient seed. Ooh, more stuff opening up. Ooh, the mining one. If we can get the mining carts, they're really, really useful. I didn't use them so much first couple times to play this. but And I didn't get used to using them, but... Oh, they're so good. That way, I could probably get that using what I have in my inventory. Geologists, uh, fire quartz, frozen tear. Those are going to be a little while. Deep, but I've got the earth crystal and the quartz. I'll hand those in. Blacksmith bundle, I have a copper bar, I haven't got the iron bar or the gold. So I do need to get deeper in the mines as a priority so I can complete that bundle. Because that is a very, very handy one. One of the easier ones to complete as well. Oh, Sam's asking me what I should do. What's the song be about? Um. <laughs> sorry. Fine, man, chopping wood. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> you know what? That sounds perfect. Blacksmith, I can't really afford much, but process the Omni Geodes. Iron ore. One iron ore. Great. Ooh! New mineral. An opal. Nice. And some copper. And a jam bright. Oh, there we go. Oh, hi, Cyrus. Take a break from your work. Yep. Have an amethyst. Seriously, love this. You're the best, Cyrus. Thank you. This person says I have to read this book before I can go play. Oh, poor you. Have a daffodil. Loves it. And give one to Penny as well. Don't have a school here, but I'm doing my best to give Vincent Jazz proper education. I think some of these have repeated. Give Jazz one as well. Yeah, lots and lots of gifts. They all love me. Time to speak. To the curator. Jamborite, new reward, excellent. And that in, and then an ancient seed, new reward. The rewards, 
I have the ancient seed recipe. Fantastic, some melon seeds for summer. That's gonna be a nice little start. And an ancient seed. Awesome. Let's go to the ocean, see if there's anything there. And then I'll get the ancient seeds in the ground with some speed grow under it. Torn with the ancient seeds. Like, do I just keep gathering them and then use seed makers to you know, get as many as possible? Or do I start selling them or turning them into something? I think I'll actually keep hold of them and just replicate them indefinitely for the moment until I basically get a greenhouse full. Decent haul here at the rock pools. Jenny seems to get her better when it's when it says it says you get better haul when it's stormy. I think when that's the day previous is raining. I'll go to Elliot and give him a daffodil. Don't ever speak to Elliot anywhere near enough. Here have a daffodil. Hmm. You don't why don't you like it? Oh great, I've just ruined my thing with him. Oh well. I thought pretty everyone liked daffodils. No matter. And Abigail is up to three hearts, which is great. Everyone else, lots of people at one. Elliot's low. Emily's still very low. Huh. Ah, I've at last caught up with Leah for once. Hey Leah, this morning I accidentally stepped on a bug. Oh dear. I swallowed a bug. Have a dandelion. Here's a really nice gift, thank you. Been a very good haul today of salmon berries. No, I already had a load, but... Been a really good haul. Of course, has basically spent all day just gathering salmon berries. And I suppose speaking to a few villagers, got some very, very nice components, namely the ancient seeds. Same components, been playing from the depths too much. Anyway. I have watered my ancient seed down here. That's because this spot here, which I'm standing in, I could probably get a sprinkler in fairly readily, which would be a really nice boon. I uh, haven't quite got enough iron on to pull it off, but it is something I could do. And with the last remaining energy, I'm just going to go and clear all as many rocks from the field as possible. I haven't really done rock, no wood clearance, but no rocks really. So, back to the cat, meow, and in the night. So how much did I earn? So foraging, not bad actually, 664 gold. Nothing particularly special. Again, the coral and sea urchins, very, very nice. And I can pretty much go straight to the mines. Ooh, awesome. Tons of crops have come out. So what have I got? It's quite the haul of crops there. Still low on the parsnips. Yes, do. And I'm just going to fabricate some seeds. Just where I've got the fertilizer, you see. And that will actually just prevent me from, well, wasting the fertilizer there. Let's grab another load. Can actually end up be, being pretty profitable just doing these. But I'll just do it like that. So I won't bother with any more because I do want to have more energy in a day for doing farming and other activities. Just going into town to try and find Pam, give her a parsnip on her birthday. In the meantime, I'll grab some more salmon berries. Probably just dandelion. Okay, so I kind of enter the house. No. Not yet, have to wait till nine. Just gonna have to loiter around here for a bit. Okay, hopefully I can enter. I can. Hello, Pam. Howdy, kid, staying dry? No, not really. Have a pass on your birthday. And that should. Yeah, absolutely massive because she really likes parsnips and that's thrown her all the way to the top of the hearts list. Very, very useful. Oh, there's Shane. Can try and give him a salmon berry while I see him as well. Is he 
instantly change clothes. Yes, he does. That's great, thanks. That's useful. He likes salmon babies because I have a rather large number of them. So into the mines and down to those dark layers. Hopefully I can burn through them pretty quickly because I find them really irritating. Wow, luck has really been on my side today. I must have a, I must have like max luck or something, because this is really good. Excellent. I'm now down to the frost layers. So that means combination of iron and copper. And I picked up the darn slingshot. Darn it. Forgot it was this level. I hate the freaking slingshot. Bin it. You can't bin it. You can destroy it though. At the for the cost of a chest. Which I will do. Requiring three hits to hit break every rock is probably going to be too much for extended exploration. I really need to upgrade my pickaxe. Despite them being way down, I want to kill these sprites because they have a really good source of coal. And also, get all of these. Thank you. 
jade. Do you have the forest sword? Excellent. Very, very nice upgrade. Yes, and I do have enough hardwood for the community bundle. Just going to go down to the next level. Not good. Don't think I can make another ten levels. Should be able to find the next level down. Find the next lift. Sword is really helping clear these guys out. I know it's late, but resources! So I'm back to the farm now. It's just gone one o'clock, so I'm going to lose some energy in the morning, but not going to be too bad. So let's go sleep, see what I get. So, a level three in mining, excellent, more pickaxe proficiency. And that's it. Oh yeah, because I didn't actually sell anything. Still, got a good haul. And that will be it for this episode. So, thank you very much for watching this episode of Stardew Valley with myself, Anna Diffin. If you did enjoy the episode, please leave a like and or comment below, as it is always great to hear from you lot. Otherwise, that's it for me for now, and I shall see you next time. But until then, I'm out. Goodbye!